Hi friends, very good afternoon. Yes, ma. Welcome back to Let's Crack UPSC CSA English with India's largest learning platform and academy. Let's crack it. Friends, please drop a confirmation message. Hope things are clear. Hope everything is clear. Am I visible? Am I audible? Fine. Welcome back to Yes, Let's Crack UPSC CSA English. What all you will get under an academy platform? Needless to say, daily live classes, isn't it? Yes, ma. Every day, sharp 2 p.m. on YouTube platform. Yes, daily live classes. What is the best part is that you can chat with your educator, engage in discussion, ask your doubts and answer polls all while the class is going on. Isn't it? This is what we are doing. So, we make the sessions very, very interactive. Live test and quiz. Yes, ultimate quiz. Every Tuesday and every Thursday is a quiz day. You all know yesterday we had an amazing live quiz on science and technology. And tomorrow the quiz day is for medieval India. So today at the end of the session, a short quiz, a very short quiz. Just it consists of only 30 questions of the topic which I am going to complete today. Okay, classical dances of India. So then and there we can do the revision. Okay. Fine. Ma'am, what we are going to, we are going to discuss classical dances of India. Okay. Fine. Art and culture. Then, so the ultimate revision strategy and earn while you learn. So, this is the dual purpose and dual objective or benefits from attending the live quest. Structured courses. So all our courses are so structured in line with your exam syllabus in order to help you best prepare for it. It is OASS for your PMI. One-stop solution for your prelim, mains and interview. Unlimited access to unlimited courses. One subscription gets you access to all our live and recorded courses to watch from the comfort of any of your devices for which you have to download an academy learning app. This is me, your DL man and Dhanlakshmi, senior, top and a verified plus educator of an academy. Of course, on top of everything, I'm a passionate educator. In search of pursuit of happiness in life, one of my greatest happiness lies in being as an educator for UPSC CSC category. Fine ma, my journey with UPSC is a very pretty long and it's a wonderful journey. I had a huge enormous amount of benefits. Yes, it is 16 years. 2004 entry, of course, I'm a Vajram student. With more than decade long rich experience in teaching for UPSC CSC, Pan India, I take classes in Delhi, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Chennai. My credential is specific to civil service. Then you can ask me ma'am, why did you say specific to civil service? Hello ma'am, how are you? I am fine ma'am, please let, give me some minutes. I will finish the mandatory slides. Okay. Specific to civil service because I have my other profile as well. Yes, I am a group 2 officer. I have cleared my state exams, state government exam. Other than that, I have cleared more than 7 to 8 other competitive exams. So, simply you can have one doubt. Dear ma'am, is your job is to only sit and prepare for competitive exams? Certainly not. Honestly saying, I have prepared for only one exam, UPSC CSE which has made me to clear all other exams which I have just applied and appear for it. So, there is a normal saying, UPSC is a mother of all written exams. Will the mother will leave the kid in an empty hand? Such like preparation for civil service will definitely help you in your life. Yes, you will never go in an empty hand, but always you aim to crack civil service exam. So, you can take me as a glaring example. Apart from this, my credentials specific to civil services, I have appeared twice in UPSC CSC interview, 2017 All India Topper with six consecutive mains. Six times I have cleared prelims just like that with six rich mains experience and 2017 All India Topper. All those six mains with geography as an optional. Apart from a unique style of teaching, I am well renowned for my mentoring as well. I have mentored more than 25,000 aspirants over a period of last 12 years. I have hence proved. What does it mean? I haven't stopped just by mentoring. I have produced the toppers and rankers. So, I always hold a great respect and proud in saying that I was uh, responsible in many ways for producing the toppers and rankers. So, I would like to continue the service throughout. Already, it is like last 15 years and another remaining part of my life. So, you can reach your DL ma'am who has an enormous amount of experience and expertise in this field using this code DL10. I have shared my telegram link and I have also shared my unacademy profile link. Apart from this, prepare with the top educators. Indeed, is a blessing, isn't it? All the best brains of India are found under one roof and needless to say that roof is an academy. 
to name a few Mrunal sir, Roman Saini, Ali Shangi, Sudarshan Gurjal, the list is endless. Comprehensive syllabus. Yes, here again we have a courses closer to 16k courses for UPSC CSC category. Then you can ask me ma'am how it is possible to go through all the 16k courses. No my dear don't get shot. We don't ask you to watch all the courses. You cherry pick up because you can never ever come with a complaint saying that ma'am there is a deficit of courses. No we provide everything in excess. Utilize the platform to its fullest. One subscription unlimited benefits aren't they? Yes. What are they? Learn life from the comfort of your own. Unlimited access to all courses. Top educators of India on one platform. Exhaustive coverage of syllabus. Regular doubt clearing sessions through our AMA sessions. Live test series. Study material at the end of each session. Answer writing. Mentoring and guidance. When you have enormous amount of benefits like this. I really don't know which is stopping from taking subscription. So it's really really high time to take the subscription. Yes ma'am go for 24 months that is an ideal one for entire 24 months after using my code dl10 you get 10 percent instant discount and you have to pay only 64 800 for 36 months the fees is 81100 of course don't forget to use the code dl10 this is with respect to iconic subscription for 24 months it is 96300 and for 36 months it is 126900 this is exclusively only for optional for 24 months it is 36000 and for 36 months it is 45000 so or at all the places you are going to use the code dl10 Yes, most competitive gamified UPSC CSC battle. One battle is already over. Now we have an enormous amount of idea about it. The upcoming battle. It's a very, very unique combination. December 20, 2020. So get ready for 2020. Of course, that is going to be an amazing. I wish my students the contest format is 45 minutes, 60 questions, 13 combats. Okay. Six sessions, relative scoring, fortnightly contest. So, if you are going to compete with the best and win the amazing prizes. Of course, first prize is Apple MacBook Air. Second prize, Apple iPad Mini, Apple AirPods. And top 100 rankers, you will be getting 1000 rupees Amazon vouchers. Plan for 1, 2, and 3. Okay. This, I know naturally you will come under this. But aim for this. Aim for the first, second, and third. Mentoring. Successful people never reach their goals alone. It doesn't mean never because our field is something, it's a beautiful field, okay? When great things doesn't come so easily, isn't it? Always keep remembering this one proverb. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destination. Mentors are all around us. What is the job? They makes you feel confident. Don't you get inspired and confident after talking uh, or getting under the shadow of your mentor? Definitely because their role is to give the confidence inspired focused and willing to share their experience thus you know what will be my justification over here irrespective of the starting point please make sure that you're going to stop only at the doorsteps of labasna which means there shouldn't be any hurdles i definitely will be coming across many hurdles and obstacles on our way because our journey is not bed of roses it is thorn of bushes amidst Despite of all those challenges, one thing should be there in your mind. Yes, if you have an indomitable spirit coupled with impeccable determination, hard work never fails. It always pays you in a good way. So keep believing in yourself. Have faith in your studies. Enjoy your learning. It's really, really, really high time to target 2021. Okay. So here you are in dire need of somebody has got to say you what to do, what not to do and how to do. Okay, that is all a mentoring. So I wish my students not just as a good enough, better, but the best. Is this fine, ma? Thank you one and all. Yes. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Please tell me. I am fine, Surinder. Okay. Hope you are happy. Thank you. I, thus, I become a mentor because I wanted to give the thing I didn't realize is how much I would get. So, now I'm going to begin with the class. The class is what? Classical dances of India. We have completed. This is a part two. So, I know many of you are, uh, had a passion for dancing and you by yourself might be a dancer. I have completed four. What is the code we had, ma? B1, K3. M2, O1, S1. Ma'am, what is this? These are the classical dances of India, isn't it? What is this B? B is Bharatanatyam. What is this K3? 
Kathak, Kathakali, Kuchipudi. So can we easily remember like this? Kathak, Kathakali, Kuchipudi. What is M2? Manipuri and Mohini Atam. Manipuri and Mohini Atam. What is this O? ODC. And what is this S? Yes, Satriya. Of course, we had a questions on Satriya for the last 2-3 prelims. The UPSC is fond of asking questions from classical dances. So, this class is a part 2. Already, I have completed Bharatanatyam. Please go and check part 1. Okay. Now, we are going to start from the 5th classical dance. Another 4 apart from the folk as well. Okay. Is this fine, Mark? So we I have already covered these things. So just I am moving the slides because I don't I didn't remove this very specifically. Some of you might be watching for the first time. Okay. Right. Just give me a moment. Now I have to begin from the next is Kathakali. Okay. From here I have to begin my class. Can I? Dazzling classical dance of Kerala. What is this Kathakali? Katha, story or a tale, Kali, performance and art. So, Katha is a storytelling, story or a tale and Kali means it's a performance. It roots or an ancient Kutiyattam, which is a cl classical Sanskrit dance drama, of course. Krishnattam, dance drama depicting the stories of Hindu god Krishna. So, movements in Kathakali are influenced by ancient martial art and athletic tradition. It is basically a dance as well as drama. Is this fine, Ma? Is this fine? So, now we are going to discuss. So, Kathakali, as we have already discussed, that is not so easy. It is very, very difficult. Let me say why it is difficult. Because the costume and the makeup expressions you have to bring in your face. And the costumes is really, really challenging. Okay. So, the first and foremost thing you have to remember here is Katha or a story, Kali performance. It is also known as Kudiyatam or Krishnatam. Of course, it is influenced by the ancient martial art and its athletic tradition. So, it is a basically what type? Dance as well as a drama type. Okay. Kathakali was traditionally a male dominated dance and now females are too welcomed in this dance form. Kathakali is also famous for huge elaborate costumes, amazing makeup style, face mask. Does any other dancers, classical dancers has a face mask? No, in Kathakali we have a face mask, huge elaborate costumes. When you take Kathak, costumes is light, the makeup is light. But when you check for Bharatanatyam, there we have an immense, strong, charismatic. So, this you have to know these differences, ma. This is very, very important. Though it looks very simple, but this costumes is really plays a matter. Please look at it. Can you see? It is not this uh, dancer's original face. This is a mask. He wears a mask according to the character he performs, isn't it? And see, can you see the mask and see the heavy dress? See the costumes, okay? Let me zoom it. Let me zoom it. Please look at your. Can you see this, ma? Can you see this? Okay. How difficult it is for getting dressed up itself. It takes couple of hours. As I mentioned in yesterday's class, a dancer, of course, the classical dancers, without passion, they can't maintain this patience because they require a lot of patience for getting dressed up itself. They have to wait for 2-3 hours. Then they have to come and perform on the stage with a full passion. Sometimes it goes for a couple of hours together. Is it possible? Is it possible without passion? No, it is not at all possible. So, please make sure that, see, look at this performance, how it is. Don't you think he has, a, this is not his original face. See, we can see the anger in his eyes. So, this is really very extremely difficult for classical dance and ancient Indian classical dance as well. Under other classical dancers, Kathakali art form developed in the courts and theatres of Hindu principalities. The traditional performances were used to be as long from dawn to dusk, from morning till, from sunrise to sunset. Can we keep performing from sunrise to sunset? Imagine how difficult it will be. The traditional performance used to be so long. You should not lose your vigor. You should not lose your energy. You should not lose your patience. But modern day presentation are short as per the time limit of the program. So the Kerala Kala Mandalam is the main center for Kathakali artists. 
Kathakali has a similarities with other dance forms like that of Japanese no and Kabuki. Very interesting. Na? So, what are the dance forms with the similarity uh, Kathakali? Of course, it is a Japanese no and Kabuki dance forms have a similarities with Kathakali. Is this fine? From prelim point of view, this is important. Over to the next. Yes, Saranya. Very good afternoon, ma. What are the main themes used in Kathakali? Of course, the themes we have discussed in previous uh, classical dances also. Mythological themes. Like they used to take a character. They used to take a role from Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavad Purana, whatever it is. Then they will start playing that particular scenes. Okay. So, the mythological themes. Mythological themes include Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavad Purana, etc. Also, modern day Kathakali dancers present stories and plays of Shakespeare. So, don't you find it very uh, enjoying and you don't you enjoy it when the modern play? Let us like you wanted to listen to the Shakespeare, but you don't have a time. But that Shakespeare play it is being performed by the Kathakali dancers. How exciting it will be! Of course, I am much ex excited to look that. The makeup for Kathakali, this is very sad. Why? Because according to the role of the dancer, his face is colored or painted. Just imagine if you apply some mask on your face until it, see when it is wet, it is okay. When it starts drying up, don't you feel some kind of discomfort? Don't you feel that something is bothering you? When will I go and uh, put water on my face? Hope you understand. Even if you put some face mask or whatever it is. Imagine their face has to get colored or painted. Why they are trying to make this extreme effort means because they wanted to give life to the role on which they are playing. Fully blue painted when they are going to do the role of Krishna. If it is a red, so the colors green for noble characters. When they are performing a noble characters, the face will be colored with a green paint and red. For evils like Ravana, Kari, black for hunter, hunters and monsters, yellow for women. So, they have to see, look at Yama. See, he is playing a noble character. That's why his face is painted with a green color. Are you able to differentiate? Are you able to identify? Please let me know. So, this as we all imagine, it is easy to sit and watch, but it is really challenging to perform. The green for noble colors painted how many hours? We do not know until the play continues. So, it, it uh, shows their dedication, patience and passion and vegetable colors. The colors are made in rice paste with vegetable colors or applied on the face. This is really, really challenging. Okay, other classical dances, they don't have this kind of thing. But the Kathakali, it has this. So, black color for hunters and monsters. Red color, evil to represent evil character. Okay, like Ravana, green, noble. Okay, yellow for normally for women. So, the famous artist of Kathakali are Kala Mandalam Krishna Prasad, Kala Mandalam Keshavan, Keshavan Nambudri and Kala Mandalam Gopi etc. So try to remember the important personalities along with the uh, classical dance that is Kathakali. Next is Mohini Atam. Can I move on to the next classical dance ma? Is Kathakali is fine? Of course I have completed. Only few points you have to remember and uh, this is actually is a very important. Okay. Don't worry. Once I complete then again I will do the revision. First let me complete all. Then moving to I think B is done. What is B? Bharatanatyam is done. What is K3? Did I complete all the K3? K1, Kathak, Kathakali, Kuchupudi. Am I right? Kathak, Kathakali, Kuchupudi. I have completed all these. Then of course I have completed ODC. Now M, Mohini Atam and Manipuri. Okay. Another graceful classical dance of Kerala. Again this is rooted in the Kerala. Mohini Atam is a Lassia. Inspired Lassia inspired dance with the soft, calm and gentle movements. Whereas Kathakali it is not like that. Sometimes the movements will be so vigorous. But Lassia is a Mohini Atam. Of course it is like with the soft, calm and gentle movements. Characterized as a feminine. Okay. Usually majority of the time it is done by the women. The word Mohini is related to the charming women avatar of Lord Vishnu to end the evil power. So now the Lord Vishnu is taking an avatar that is he comes in a female dress up. Okay, why to end the evil powers? So how the normally the feminine characters this, this they are very soft. Okay, 
common composed gentle movements so mohini attam also connotes beautiful dancing women the graceful and most beautiful mohini attam is mesmerizing the text hasta lakshana deepika what is the text hasta lakshana deepika is followed that has an elaborate description of mudras is followed for hand gestures and facial expressions so what does it mean hasta lakshana deepika ma which is nothing but it is representing the hand gestures as well as the facial expression how does the female express of course many of the characters many of the emotions they get expressed on the facial expressions okay when they are happy when they wanted to register something anger whatever it is the classical dances or any dances dance the beauty of dance is that face is very very important that's why they used to give more makeup and more importance for face so hasta lakshana deepika it brings the hand gestures as well as the facial expression through different mudras is this fine next see look at here simple and it is cool of course mohini attam okay are you able to see this ma see the dress code half white na kerala dress half white okay see look at here let me zoom it oh side bun na okay the costumes of mohini attam mohini attam is a unique half white half white costume isn't it the prominent one sided hair style bun see the bun for the earlier bharatanatyam odissi it will be in the center at the back okay whereas for mohini attam is a side bun can you see the side bun ma see look at here the bun is one sided and it will be on the side so the costumes are very important one sided hair style bun called as kuduma adorable ornaments make it unique so some of you if you have missed the part 1 please go and check the part 1 already we have uh, discussed in a very uh, detailed manner four classical dances has been completed in part 1 so what is the sequence of mohini attam of course invocation like in bharatanatyam what is invocation in bharatanatyam alaripu then we also had jati swaram varnam shlokam shabdam padam tillana okay so this is a sequence of mohini attam sequence you have to give importance for all classical dances okay for all classical dances you have to give importance for sequence invocation so what is the sequence of mohini attam which is nothing but invocation jati swaram varnam shlokam shabdam padam tillana so the revival of mohini attam what has happened when it has got revived in 19 30 nationalist malayalam poet vallothal narayan menon helped to repeal the ban on temple dancing in kerala as well as establish the kerala kala mandalam dance school so who is responsible for the revival try to remember this personality name vallothal narayan menon from prelim very very important because his efforts has made to revive of the mohini attam because once it has got banned on the temple dancing in kerala okay and kalamandalam dance school and gave encouragements for its training and practice so mukundras these personalities are less important because it is not possible to remember all mukundras krishna panikkar and as well as guru and dancer kalamandalam kalyana kalyani kutti amman gave their heroic contribution in reviving the traditional art form is this fine next is manipuri this here upcoming uh, classical dances it will be simple then we we'll move on to the folk dance okay so m2 mohini attam is completed now we are going to discuss manipuri the themes what is the theme used in manipuri dance forms ma mostly influenced by hindu vaishnavism themes it also includes the themes related to shaivism and shaktism and regional deities it also include the themes related to shaivism and shaktism and regional deities tandava manipuri depicts what is tandava of course i told you, you know a lot she was a very big great dancer whenever he is happy he used to perform okay ananda tandava and he is very angry also he used to represent his anger through the dance as well so shiva tandavam tandava manipuri depicts the theme of shiva shakti or krishna as a warrior is this fine so tandava 
Manipuri depicts themes of Shiva, Shakti, Krishna as warrior. Lasya. What is this Lasya? Of course, we have discussed in Mohini Adam also. Lasya. Soft, calm and composed. Of course, the uh, theme includes the love inspired story of Radha Krishna. So, it is full of love and romance. Radha Krishna love story that is taken as a theme and they used to play this during their dance performance. Are you getting it, ma? Are you getting it? Theme is very, very, very important in every classical dance. Because in Bharatanatyam, we have a different theme. So, each and every classical dance, you see, look at this. The very attractive thing is in this Manipuri dance, see the dress. See the costume. Can you see the wheel on their face, ma? Can you see the wheel on their face? Mask will be used for Kathakali. But here, this is the difference. Okay, let me zoom it. Let me zoom it. Look at here. Can you see the wheel? Okay. And see the dress code long like basket shape. So typical traditional North Indian costume. Isn't it? Is or no? Look at here. Look at this dress code ma. So none other classical dances has this dress format. See you can't even find the legs. And wheel on the face. Isn't this? This is like a. So this is very unique. Manipuri Ras Lila, three styles, Tal Rasad, it is accompanied by clapping. So, they used to clap the Tal, it is a one representation. Tanda Rasad, the synchronous beat of two sticks where dancer's position creates a geometric pattern. So, very, very interesting. Tanda, it talks about the geometric pattern. Tal Rasad, it is, it is accompanied by clapping and Mandal Rasad. The gopis make a circle while Krishna attains the center. Krishna at the center and gopis, of course. Krishna, Lord Krishna, that is a, the Radhe Krishna love story. Of course, you know, very interesting that he will always be surrounded by his girlfriends. That is his joke. It is gopis. Okay, make a circle while Krishna attains the center. Mandal Rasat. So, different style, types of Manipuri dance styles. So, Ras, Ras, Nata, Sankirtan. Pum Cholam, Dola Cholam, Kartal Cholam, Tangta, a martial art of Manipuri. Very, very important was your prelim point. Okay. Tangta, martial art. So, Cholam, Cholam, Cholam. Easily you can remember. Pum Cholam, Dola Cholam, Kartal Cholam. Tangta, a martial art of Manipuri. Okay. So, different types of Manipuri dance styles. Ras, Nata, Sanskritan, Pung Cholam, Dola, Kartal. Tangta, try to remember because it is a martial art of Manipuri. Okay. Is this fine? Music and the instrument. So, of course, it is natural. It is very, very important. What are all the music and the instrument associated in performing that particular classical dance? So, the music and instruments in Manipuri dance. The expressions used in Manipuri or from the poetry of Jayadev, Vidyapi, Chandi Das, Govinda Das and Gyan Das that may be in Sanskrit, Maithili, Bridge or any other language. So, verses like, uh, do you remember for Bharatanatyam, the verses Tamil, Telugu, Sanskrit, Kannada, okay, such like for each classical dances, it couldn't be performed in all the languages. So, they could be performed in very specific languages because it's a classical dance, isn't it? Whereas with respect to Manipuri, the verses, of course, the expression used in Manipuri or from the poetry of Jayadev, very, very important. Vidyapti, Chandi Das, Govinda Das, Gyan Das and that may be in Sanskrit, Maithili, Bridge or any other language. Pung, a barrel drum, a small kartals, symbols are employed in dance as well as not restricted to accompaniment alone. See, can you see the barrel drum here? Dress code, isn't it mom? Are you, are you making this difference? Please let me know. So, what are the instruments? It is a pung. Of course, it is an instrument. This is called as a barrel drum and cymbals. A small kartas cymbals are employed in dance as well as not restricted to accompaniment alone. Other instruments include sembong, harmonium, pina, a string, string instrument, flute is a wind instrument, esraj and shank conch. Okay. 
So these are the instruments. Try to remember the instruments again. What are the instruments for Manipuri? Sembong, harmonium, string instrument, veena, flute, wind instrument, esraj and shank, conk. Okay. Yes, Radhika. I was looking for you. Where were you, ma? So this is a... So the costumes of Manipuri dance. The female dancers wear decorative barrel shaped drum. This is the most attractive. I got fascinated toward this. See, how can they wear the drum like dress code and able to perform? Don't you feel? See how difficult it is. But because that is uh, related to their culture, isn't it? The nativity culture. So the female dancers especially. The female dancers... They wear a decorative, a barrel shaped drum like long stiff skirt till bottom. You can't even find their legs. Okay. With the decorative embellishments, dark colored velvet blouse covers with the upper part of the body and traditional wheel is worn over the air that falls gracefully over the face. Did we see the wheel? Yes or no ma? Did we check the wheel? Wheel was there. So, dark colored velvet blouse because in like a Manipuri dance, okay, Krishna Radha. So, we can check it in this combination. The male dancers adorn themselves with dhoti kurta, white turban, folded shawl over the left shoulder and drum strap over the right shoulder. So, they will be having the drum and simultaneously they will perform the uh, of course, they used to do the performance as well. So, it is not that easy because they have to carry the instrument at the same time they have to do the performance as well. So, the costume for the character of Lord Krishna is the yellow dhoti, dark velvet jacket and crown of peacock feathers. Okay. Lord Krishna. Why? How do we see Lord Krishna? Is he fairy color? No. It is like a dusky. So, always they will they'll try to represent uh, Lord Krishna with the yellow dhoti. So, yellow with the velvet jacket. Okay. Yellow dhoti, velvet jacket, crown. Of, of course, this crown is made with the peacock feathers. Very interesting points. But this we know already. The revival and recent developments of Manipuri dance. There are several private institutes as well as a few government aided centers that provide training in Manipuri. The prominent among them is Jawaharlal Nehru Manipuri Dance Academy where it is Impal which is the constituent body of Sangeet Natak Academy Delhi. Okay fine. So who are the famous Manipuri dancers? Guru Bipin Shinha, Nirmala Mehta, Savita Mehta, Yam Lembam Gambini Devi Darshana Javeri and many others. So try to remember few. It is not much, it is not easy to remember all the personalities. Just remember the core personalities alone. Is this fine, ma? Next is Satriya. Can I move on? Of course, we are standing in the last part of the classical dance. First of four only, it took a long time because they were a little bit lengthier. And Kshatriya, this is one of the uh, prelims most favorite classical dance. More than twice they have asked the questions from this particular classical dance. UPSC prelims, more than twice they have asked the questions from this particular classical dance. Okay, can I move on? Kshatriya is the traditional dance drama of Assam. Kshatriya was recognized in 2000 as a classical dance by Shankit Natak Academy. So very recently. It was not like see 2000 years old. Which one? Bharatanatyam. Oldest classical dance. But Kshatriya was found only on 2000. Very recent then, isn't it? It was recognized in 2000 as a classical dance by Sankit Natak. It is influenced by Vaishnavism and the modern form of Kshatriya is attributed to the 15th century Bhakti movement scholar and Saint Sri Manta Shankara Dev. Is this fine, ma? So, it is influenced by Vaishnavism and the modern form of Kshatriya is attributed to the 15th century Bhakti movement scholar and Saint Sri Manta Shankaradev. So, try to remember Shankaradev, very, very important personality. This was one point in your prelims. Okay, extremely important. Please go and check your previous year's prelim question. The name Shankaradev was also mentioned in the points. Okay, statement. Next. Yes, Saranya. Since the 15th century, Kshatriya grew as a part of Vaishnav Bhakti movement. This statement was also there in your prelims. 
okay from which century very very important grew as a part of a vaishnava bhakti movement in hindu monasteries called as satra satra called as satra what do you mean by satra satra so the dance community halls of monastery temple today it is popular worldwide is this clear ma is this clear for everyone so can i move on to the next will you remember the person of course this is the dance drama of assam just very recently it has got recognized as a classical dance in 2000 it is influenced in 15th century of course by the bhakti movement scholar saint srimanta shankaradev 15th century grew as a part of vaishnava bhakti movement of course it called satra the dance community halls of monastery temples it's popular worldwide see look at here let me zoom it let me zoom in so this is a costume dress code okay kshatriya dance yes vaishnavism isn't it can you look at this ma so beautiful na well dressed well dressed so cute this girl performance is cute all are doing well okay the themes so as i mentioned earlier the themes is very 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 important for each and every classical dance okay so the themes and styles used in kshatriya what is the theme as we with the dress code itself ma'am yellow color yellow color dhoti uh, blue white velvet blouse of course a, a, a crown with the feathers peacock feathers what does this the theme performed are mostly on radha krishna and other krishna and other myth okay drama written by shankara dev or typically presented kshatriya performance integrated the two styles one is masculine for paroksh parakshik bangi energetic and with jumps and another one is feminine feminine is lasya and delicate so masculine yes with full vigor and energy and jumps of course i told you, you know they'll be wearing the drums and everything and feminine style is very very calm cool delicate composed lasya but so much of uh, emotions okay and both the female and the male perform this beautiful expressive dance openly on the modern platform is this clear ma is this clear for everyone so try to remember the personalities that's it so from this front page itself upsc has chosen the statement for the question which is the century it belongs to which bhakti movement vaishnavism and which region is belong and one was the other statement associated so if you know this first slide then you could have made this question very easy that's it so the costumes ha huh? costumes used for kshatriya male is dhoti chadar paguri what do you mean by paguri it's a turban for female guri chadar kanchi waist cloth made up of a material manufactured so typical uh, northeast india costumes okay so typical that costumes because it has to reflect the culture over there the play and the character specific costumes are also seen in kshatriya mask or used for special characters like demons and sometimes i told you know which is the one classical dance of course the core classical dance which use the mask instead of the original face whatever the character they perform for example for the noble characters what color mask they wear for a evil characters for a monsters and demon characters for women kathakali isn't it we, we can't see the original performer dancer's face whereas whatever role they do they wear a mask okay that is really really challenging actually but here at some times only they'll wear a mask of course masks are used for only for the special characters traditional assamese jewelry is employed the music and instrument used for kshatriya bor geet bor greet of shankara dev and mahadev kol two faced asymmetrical drum drum cymbal manjira borkal of course these are all the names of the instruments so you can also expect the questions superma kathakali so you can also expect the uh, questions the instrument with uh, when you have this when you take the synopsis try to give emphasis for the costumes the origin very distinct features alone so that much is enough so instrument music and instrument is also very very important with respect to each classical dance okay 
so flute violin harmonium cymbal scroll scroll is a two faint asymmetrical it is not of similar asymmetrical means what uneven shape it is not uniform okay bore gate of shankara dev and maha madhava dev revival or kshatriya dance very very important conventionally it was only performed by bokots and monks as a part of the daily rituals not before the ideal but before the copy of bhagavat purana placed in the eastern corner of a dance community all so earlier initially during uh, during the earlier days they used to do this is a uh, daily practice daily rituals not necessarily they has to go and stand in front of the god not before the idol but at the remotest corner eastern corner of the dance community all whereas only after the second half of the 20th century the dance form moved from the den because den means den of azam monasteries to the modern day stage earlier it was played only on the community hall okay the dance community all it is called as namgar later on only it has started showing as a stage performance modern day stage performance are you getting it ma are you getting it is this clear so kshatriya received the patronage outside assam and outside india too that's why kshatriya kendra guwahati is a constituent body of sangeet nataka academy established for preserving promoting and providing training to the young aspirants of kshatriya today kshatriya performance are part of major dance festivals in india as well as abroad worldwide famous that's why upsc also kept on asking questions from this particular classical dance because it is a very recent origin isn't it when you compare to bharatanatyam 2000 years old but this has came form and to form only 20 years back from 2000 only are you getting it ma okay so try to remember the core points so chahu dance that's it we have completed the classical dances now we are going to move to the folk dance okay other types of dance forms can i start can i start chahu what is this is this clear so i have completed did i complete eight classical dances what are they b let me check it here b1 bharatanatyam did i complete bharatanatyam in the last class i have completed k3 what is k3 kathak kuchipudi kathakali did i complete what is m2 today's class mohini attam and manipuri am i right mohini attam and manipuri what is o1 odc what is yes kshatriya only these are called as classical dances of india what now we are going to discuss is the other dance forms folk dance this is fine ma so if you have missed the part 1 i have done only last week please go and check the part 1 of classical dances is now what is this cha chahu ma of course chahu is a blend of a folk tribal and martial art so yes p m what is this folk chahu is a blending of combination of folk tribal and martial art chahu is derived from the sanskrit word chaya meaning shadow image or mask what do you mean by chahu what do you mean by chahu of course it has got the origin the root derived from the sanskrit word chaya means shadow are you getting it image also chahu is defined by sittakanta mahapatra to be derived from chahuni military champ in odia language traditionally performed by males and male troops chahu has a three different types originating from three different region every type has its own unique feature pattern and the style of performing and ornamentation as well okay chahu dance can you see this okay let me zoom it can you feel this difference ma is really scaring na because it's a combination of a folk tribal as well as a martial art okay see look at here oh my god see the headgear see the headgear too heavy i don't i really have to have a great salute for the dancers 
because it is very difficult to perform having heavy weight on their head isn't it okay so types of chahu dances type of chahu dance origin any prominent information mask used or not description of mask sarai kala sarai kala chahu sarai kala karsavan district of jargand this art form was patronized by the local administrators who themselves were dance instructors as well as the skilled mask makers martial dance form performed by men symbolic masks are used so type of chahu dance origin any prominent information mask used or not description so try to remember sarai kala chahu sarai kala of jargand region is this fine next three types what are three types very very interesting just remember first type is representing the human or mythological character second type represents the birds and animals what is the third type third type represents some ideas and caesar like basanta so first is they are representing the human and mythological characters so from the ramayana mahabharata or whatever it is they pick one particular scene and they'll try to uh, have the costumes in human second is represent the animals and the birds and third is some idea if they have some idea that idea through their performance they'll use to represent and reflect and seasons like basanta mayur banj chahu mayur banj district of odisha no specific vocal music it encompasses tribal martial folk art local art forms and even classical and traditional art forms no mask so uh, it of course i told you already we have discussed it is a it is a combination of both the folk tribal and martial local art forms so sometimes even classical and traditional art forms no mask so technically similar to sarai kala sarai kala of course it's a of jargon then district purlia chahu purlia district of west bengal this chahu has only one message what is that triumph of good over a evil always good will win over the evil okay only this message from uh, i have already mentioned this we have different types of chahu dance one is of jargon type and another one is west bengal so every different style they used to leave one message in west bengal style only one message that is time of good over evil stylized acrobatic with amazing spins Yes, mask represents a character from Hindu mythology. Huge head gears are employed. That is the most important, isn't it? See, look at here. Don't we see this huge head gears? See, sometimes we can see. Normally, what are the three types mask? One is that human representation. Another one is uh, representations of birds and animals. Okay, and third is that representation of the seasons and ideas. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? See, isn't it the huge headgear? Really, really difficult. And see, everything they are wearing the mask. You can't see their original face, isn't it? Can we identify the original face? No. Okay. See, symbolic mask are used. Chahu dance. Theme and Chahu. Vaishnavism, Saivism, Shaktism. Of course, Hinduism. Okay, the costumes used in Chahu, bright colored costumes, aren't they? Yes or no? The so bright, huge ornamental headgears, mask depend upon the role you play in the story. Every uh, classical dance or folk dance, if they are going to wear the mask, mask will not be of a general pattern according to the role they perform. So they used to modify the mask according to the role role they choose. Is this fine? the music and instruments used for chahu music is based on folk melodies mohuri shinai dol dumsa karka chachadi chachadi or few instruments employed to create the music mohuri shinai dol dumsa 
karka achachadi the revival recognition and recent development of chaku so what is the revival in 2010 very very important because upsc used to ask this recent na 2000 chatriya dance has got the recognition as a classical dance in 2010 chaku was listed in unesco representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity intangible cultural heritage of humanity the government has established the government chaku center in sharaikala of course the place in jargen isn't it because we have it is in jargen in west bengal it has this different regions isn't it the government has established the government chaku center in sharaikala in 1960 and mayurban chaku of course at baripada in 1962 The Sangeet Natak Academy established a national center for Chaku dance at Odisha. Very good, of course, a place in Odisha. This is all only a value addition point. Don't worry. Okay, try to remember. 2010, it got listed in UNESCO's representative list. Okay, that is most important. Yes, Ram Kumar. Very good afternoon. So, what are the other efforts made by the government? Efforts from the government of India. to revive the indian classical dances government of india puts continuous efforts in preserving promoting the indian classical dance of course through the establishment of sangeet natak academy delhi allied centers we know already so the grand classical dance festival so what are the grand festivals which are associated with the classical dance okay khajuraho konark dauli kalinga kalidas mukteshwar surya ellora nisha gandhi etc display the beautiful representation of indian classical dances so the great classical dance festivals try to remember this ma try to remember this from prelim point of view extremely important what are they khajuraho konark dauli kalinga kalidas Mukteshwar, Surya, Ellora, Ellora, Nisha Gandhi, Nisha Gandhi, etc. Is this fine? Is this fine? The classical dances flourished and developed further with the establishment of, of course, music and dance. So, what are the universities? Indra Kala Sangeet, okay. Vishwa Vidyalaya. Karai Ragar, Raja Man Singh, Tomar University, Gwalior, etc., and the various institution like Akil Bharatiya Gandharva Mahavidyalaya Mandal. So they not only add added to the development of it, but also help the classical dances, dance forms to reach till the common people. So this is all only a value addition. Don't worry. Folk dances of India. So this is the last. Of course, only it get completed in under ten minutes. Okay. So folk dances. Did I complete the classical dances, ma? A classical dances. B. Bharatanatyam. K. Three. Kathak. Kathakali. Kuchpudi. M. Two. Mohini Atam. Manipuri. O. One. Odisha and Satriya. So I have successfully have completed the eight classical dances. You guys are fond of asking. repeatedly asking questions from classical dancers if you have missed the part 1 please go and check the part 1 this now we are moving to other value addition topics folk dances okay once i complete this everyone please take a test like us from this topic alone so immediately you will have an value addition points and also you can check your memory or the concepts clarity with respect to the questions okay it is only of short quiz not a full quiz okay folk dances of india or very simple dance which are performed to celebrate the arrival of seasons weddings festival to express the joy and happiness it is easy you need not put so much of makeup and other things like classical dances folk dances are really it's very very simple classification of folk dances occupational yes during the seasons harvesting Yes or no? So can I say the folk dances are classified during the occupations, seasonal, martial, devotional, ritualistic, numerous with local variations to various religion and cultures. 
guided by songs that glorify the nature it's very easy you can compose your own folk song it doesn't have any rules or dances folk dances okay it doesn't have any particular rules and other things it comes naturally okay so it is very easy express the traditional occupation and devotion to the deities so can we discuss ma so this is from prelim point of view extremely important can i begin bangra bangra punjab see can you see this bangra dance okay let me zoom it see oh this is bangra dance happily okay so which region so you should remember the name of the folk dance and the place bangra punjab bp bangra punjab most popular dance of punjab musical instruments like tabla dolak chimta and others wedding and social festival is this fine is this fine garba gujra g to g can we remember g to g what is bangra punjab bp garba gujrat okay women folk enacted before the temples of the mother goddesses of course kali devi amba rhythmic clapping plus circular movement during navratri and holi so rhythmic clapping circular movement navratri and holi derived from garba deep a lamp inside an earthenware pot or the light which glows inside the temple sanctum what is this temple ma garba graha sanctum sanctorum s square did we discuss in our classes so how the garbhagraha will be will it be fully lighted no it will be a dark place inside that you will have a small light so the indication is that derived from garbha deep garbha deep is nothing but just imagine a mother's womb okay baby in the womb how it will be in the womb it is a dark place okay but inside that there is a lamp okay a lamp inside an earthen wear part earthen wear part inside it looks so dark if you keep a small candle or light in it it will glow from the dark isn't it garbhagraha or the light which glows inside the temple sanctum this is very important you can check any of the garbhagraha of the great uh, uh, ancient old temples it will not be lighted okay it will be in a dark only only the natural light okay dia the natural light will be glowed so you know garba gujarat bangra punjab bihu it was your previous year's prelim question bihu assam b a b a bihu assam regional festival assam brisk dance movements both by men and women see happily they are performing it isn't it costumes traditional colorful azami garments is this clear ma traditional colorful azami garments next is chahu of course you know east india just now we have discussed this it is a combination of the tribal folk and martial martial dance form male dance with use of a mask it what is the region did i say saraikela in jargon odisha okay see saraikela jargon bengal west bengal purlia district mayurbanj in odisha okay so three styles of chahu dance west bengal odisha and jargon in west bengal of course purlia district in jargon it is saraikela and mayurbanj in odisha popular in purlia districts derived from chaya what do you mean by chaya which is nothing but shadow or mask okay derived from chaya shadow or mask depict the depict themes from ramayana mahabharata and puranas okay so themes is very very important from everything so try to remember chahu dance very 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 important three places saraikala jargon purlia west bengal mayurbanj odisha what do you mean by chaya it is derived from the sanskrit word chaya means shadow or a mask it is a combination of what folk ma tribal and martial is this fine is this fine like atm it is ftm next 
Padayani, Padayani, folk dance of Kerala. Pada, see this, we can't even see the faces. Look at this, ma. Can you see this? Padayani, of course, Kerala. Regional temple festivals, main centers, Kotayam, Kulam, Patanamitta, Alapi districts, mask of a various shapes. So try to remember the folk dance and the place. Padayani, of course, it is of Kerala. Is it fine? Next, Gaur. Gaur folk dance, Madhya Pradesh. Very, very interesting. Let me zoom it. Let me zoom it. See, look at here. Okay. Can you see this big drum? Bastar district. Gaur folk dance. Madhya Pradesh. Bastar district. Of course, it is performed during marriage. Of course, what is the meaning? What do you mean by gaur? Which is nothing but a ferocious bison, wild animal. Call for the dance is given by the standing a bamboo trumpet or a horn. Can you see this bamboo trumpet? A big one, heavier one. Both they will perform. Both the men and women will perform this costume for the men. Of course, the head dresses decorated with the strings of cori shells. Okay, it's a, it's a very natural thing. They don't uh, invest, they don't spend much money for getting the costumes. Whatever, because it's a tribal dance, no ma? Folk dance is, of course, it's less costumes. It doesn't have any particular things, okay? You can make it, but that also they will do with the, with the utmost. Whatever the available material it is found in their places, they'll use to use that. Men dress costumes is decorated with the strings of cori shells and plumes of peacock. Costumes for women, brass, hillock, and bead necklaces. So men with the drum move in a circle. So men in a circle, it is really challenging. It looks so exciting to watch also. Men with the drums, huge barrels and drums on a movement, circular movement, they'll be doing one performance. It creates a variety of dancing patterns. So incorporates the movements of bison. Since how the bison will move, that's why they have kept the name Gaur. It is found in Madhya Pradesh. So they had uh, represent this. It's very interesting. So try to remember Gaur, Madhya Pradesh. Jumar, Punjab. Okay. Jumar. Already we have discussed one in Punjab. Bangra, BP. Again, JP. Jumar. So BP, JP, Bangra, Bangra Punjab. Jumar, Punjab. Okay. This is performed during harvest season. Slower and more rhythmic form of Bangra. Content of songs. What will be the theme? Love and emotion. Of course, it is performed in a circle as per the tune of the song. Are you finding it, ma? Are you finding it easy? Jumar, folk dance in Punjab. Okay. Gumi. This is of my place. Tamil Nadu, Gummi, folk dance, mostly it will be performed by the women during the festival times, Pongal, harvest season, okay? Because, you know, folk seasons, it is respected to the, uh, which is relevant to the seasons and festivals, religious and other things. So, temple festival, Pongal, women move in a circle and dance while clapping their hands rhythmically. One of the women leads the song while the other takes up the refrain. See, can you see this? Very interesting. And another Tamil, uh, from Tamil Nadu, three, I think from three comes from Tamil Nadu. One is Kumi, another one is Tirukutu. Junctions of the village, okay, at the end of the village, junctions, there will be a common point, okay, where the so many villages will come and join at that point. So, junctions of the village during the village festival, it is performed by both men and the women. Mile Artam, of course, peacock. In Tamil, typical word mile, peacock. Artistic and religious forms of dance performed in temple. Performer dances on a tall piece of a hood. I want to say this. See, the dancers, they will stand on a wood piece. The wood piece from the floor, it will be of a very great height. They will used to stand on this wood piece and then they have to perform the dance. It is not that easy. It is really challenging. Performers dances on a tall piece of wood. Okay. So the path will be aching. The palm will be paining a lot. 
but that is an art they give so much of like not only classical dances my even the folk dances it is not so easy when it is performed in a very simple manner but behind that also lots of human effort and so much of technicalities is there okay so see especially this mailadam perform performer dances on a tall piece of wood attached to the end of a spade wear costumes from head to toe like peacock with beak so the entire costumes will represent like that they are wearing a peacock dress okay yakshagana this was your previous year prelim question which region yakshagana karnataka bihu assam previous year prelim question see upsc is fond of picking question shatriya previous year's prelim question from classical dances yakshagana folk dances bihu folk dances are you getting an idea ma how important this topic is please i i think i am kept on speaking for a long time please reply please acknowledge are you able to follow is my speed is fine ma is my speed is fine for everyone yes please let me know is the speed is fine yes yakshagana folk dance karnataka so this is a the chat box is working musical dance drama based on ramayana and mahabharata which deals with the themes of value and heroism mainly manifestation of god vishnu so this was also try to remember we will do one short revision and which will be accompanied by the test yakshagana karnataka important food work hand gestures or absent important is food work hand gestures absent costumes red and yellow color stars in the twilight hours with the beating of composition of the drum from up to an hour before the actors get on the stage so this is really so the preparatory the warm up is very very it starts in the twilight hours it starts in the night okay twilight hours with the beating of the composition of the drums from up to an hour so before the performer he comes to the stage the warm up or the drum beat or the sounds is it, it starts one hour before okay so it is a continuity process and it is not that easy as well okay depicts a story from indian epics and puranas yakshagana karnataka don't worry first i will complete it then again we'll go for a revision bavai bavai gujarat already we have discussed one in gujarat g to g garba am i right okay bavai gujarat okay most colorful and skillful seven parts folk dance bavai gujarat dandiya dandiya ras dandiya atam bangra these are some of the most famous uh, folk dances we all love we, are, we all love uh, playing this dandiya also isn't it dandiya ras of course is of gujarat this is a third folk dance from gujarat itself bavai dandiya simple and rhythmic dance performed by the young people moving around in an imaginary circle i think most of the folk dances in circular pattern in classical dances we didn't have this word circle did you notice this difference ma how many of you have noticed this difference yes ma'am yes solarajan see classical dances we never come across the circular movement but majority of let it be gummi attam in tamil nadu majority of the folk dances it is circular pattern okay so simple rhythmic dance form performed by young people moving around in an imaginary circle to the beat of the dandiya sticks that they carry in their hands so as a crowd they are happily enjoying this tamasha maharashtra is a fun joke tamasha is a joke where maharashtra the name derived from the persian word actually it means spectacle okay 18th century form entertainment so this time uh, the name itself is give you a clue that it is an entertainment dance some dances will be very serious some dances will be for the gods this mailatam uh, this is all especially it is a uh, one kind of performance to the gods okay so this is like a fun entertainment way maharashtra actually it has got derived from the persian word spectacle which was patronized by maratha rulers kudiyattam of course kudiyattam is a folk dance of kerala what are the classical dance of kerala what are the classical dances of kerala how many classical dances we have in kerala 
Kerala. Please answer me classical dances of Kerala. Is ma Kathakali, Mohini Adam. Am I right? Kathakali and Mohini Adam are the classical dances of Kerala. Whereas the folk dance, Kudi Adam, folk dance, Sanskrit theatre. Tradition of more than 2000 years closely follow the precepts of Natya Shastra. Okay. Ottam Tullal. Similar to Kathakali. Kathakali is a classical dance of Kerala. Whereas Ottam Tullal is a folk dance of Kerala. Which was similar in, of course, which was similar to the classical dance. Also called as Poor Man's Kathakali. Because Kathakali is for the classical dance. Definitely you know what are the inputs of classical dances. So, which is called as a Poor Man of Kathakali. Of course, it is Ottam Tullal. What is another for Kudi Attam from Kerala? Solo dance with simplicity and humor. See, it is uh, resembling the dress code is also resemb resembling the Kathakali. Is or no, ma? Does the dress code is resembling Kathakali? Look at here. Aren't they? Is or no? See, the mass, but not as heavy as, but not as heavy as Kathakali. Okay? This is called, which is called as a poor man's Kathakali or Tam. Next is, Kavadi Attam, Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu itself, we have seen four uh, uh, folk dances. What are they? Of course, Gummi Attam, Terukut, Maila Attam, Kavadi Attam. All these belongs to Tamil Nadu. Karagam. Of course, Kavadi Attam is a Karagam temple dance. Horse dance in temples. Dummy folk dance. Tamil Nadu. Kavadi Attam. See, this is what? See, they'll use this. Uh, this is all challenging, ma. Hikat, Hikat folk dance, Jammu and Kashmir. Hikat, Hikat is a folk dance of Jammu and Kashmir, a expression of joy and love by both the girls and boys, guys and girls. Okay, Hikat, Jammu and Kashmir, Gidda. Already we have discussed in Punjab. Okay, and uh, JP, Jumar, uh, Bangra, Gidda. These are all the folk dances under Punjab. Gidda. Punjab. It is women at Orvas. Cham. Arnachal Pradesh. Of course, mask ritual dance. Gidda Punjab. See? Gidda dance. Of course, Punjabi dress. It's really nice. Right? Gidda Punjab. But here face is very difficult. Okay? Ras. Ras dance. Manipuri. Manipur. Okay? Maharas. Nitayaras, Vasantara, celebrate the season and depict the life of Sri Krishna, Lassya, isn't it? Love, love story of uh, Krishna, Radhe, Vaishnavism, okay? So, you can easily remember Ras dance of Manipur. Pum Cholam, again Manipur, oh my God. See, can you see this? Let me give some time. I, I think they are not dancing on the floor, they are dancing on air. Did you notice this ma? How difficult. See, all of them are jumping. It is like acrobatic, isn't it? Dancing on the air. How difficult. It's really, I don't know. I think we, we get a goosebumps when we watch these dance performance in real. At least I will get. It is see, their their legs are not standing on the floor. Okay, it is on air. Look at it. That also they are having the instruments in their hand. Okay, isn't it? Pum Cholam Manipur, dance with a drum, playing with Mridangam. The dancer executes the amazing and energetic movements in unique combination of dance and movement. Isn't it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Mridangam, of course, they have a drum. They have been playing the instrument and as well as combination of dance and movement. Jatra, of course, West Bengal. Jatra. West Bengal, 15th century as a result of Bhakti movement in which the devotees of Krishna go in procession, of course in Yatra, Yatra or Jatra to holy places singing and dancing during Margali month, okay, early morning they used to wake up, they used to go, of course this is all with respect to the Vaishnavism, isn't it, 
and uh, Jatra West Bengal, 15th, 15th century result of Bhakti movement in devotees of Krishna. Ball, last is, I think this is the last. Okay, two more. Yes. Ball, West Bengal. Ball, Bengal. Okay. Wandering minstrel of Shahajiya sect, tantric sect of Bengal, hold week-long festival during which they sing and dance happily. Ball, West Bengal. They are also in circle. Chortula, last but not least. Uttar Pradesh, UP. My goodness, I don't just remember. See, she is wearing a wheel. Okay, on top of her head, it is an instrument, it is a metal like an instrument. It has just more than 50 lights. It is not, uh, of course, it's a real fire. Okay, really challenging. Ma. These things are, it's easy to look, it is easy to watch, but it really, it is difficult. Okay, without the passions and devotion, they can't do it. Wheeled women, wheeled women means her face is closed, isn't it? Wheeled women balancing a large multi-tiered circular wooden pyramid on their head. Can we keep a small pot on our head? We will lose the balance, okay? The face is also is closed and she is balancing a large multi-tiered. It is having so many things, okay? It is not of one a circle. Multi-tiered circle, it is all made of a wooden pyramids. Wooden pyramids definitely it will be heavy. Heavy in height, weight also in height as well as in weight as well as not only this, a light with 108 oil lamp, 108 oil lamp, it is not a normal electric or dummy lamp, 108 oil lamp, multi tiered circular wooden pyramids. <coughs> Dance to the strains of Razia, songs of Lord Krishna. Charkula is especially performed on the third day after Holi, the day which Radha was born. So, they are celebrating the arrival of Radha. So, please do remember Charkula, UP, very, very important. Ball, West Bengal. Is this fine? So, with this, I have completed classical dances folk dances. So, can we do a quick revision with respect to folk dances alone? Just I will say name. Can we go from the back? So, this is your DL ma'am code. DL10. Okay. This is my profile in an academy. Go and follow my profile and class feedbacks. I like to get through different color hats and dedications. Fine. Can we go for the quick recap? Can we go for the quick recap with respect to folk dances alone? Thus, successfully I have completed the topic, one of the most favorite topic of UPSC, folk dances. So, what are the names? Bangra, Panja, okay? Bangra, Panja, Garba, Gujarat. So, try to have a list. In Punjab itself, we have altogether three folk dances. In Gujarat, again, we had a three, okay? Bangra, Panja, Gujarat, Garba, G to G, Garba, Garba, Gujarat, Bihu, Assam, Bihu, Assam, Bangra, Punjab, Garba, Gujarat, Bihu, Assam, Chahu, of course, Chahu is very, very important because it is a combination of three with respect to folk, tribal, martial, as well as with respect to the places, Jargon, West Bengal, Odisha, in Jargon, Saraikala, in West Bengal, Purlia, in Odisha, Mayurbanj districts. District. Is this fine? Very, very important. Next, Padayani, Kerala. Padayani, of course, is a folk dance, which is called as a poor man's Kathakali ma. Please give me an answer. Which folk dance is called as, what is the name of the folk dance? It is called as poor man's Kathakali. Fill the, com fill the comment box. Fill the comment box. Poor man's Kathakali. Yes. Make it pass, ma. I'm waiting for your reply. Poor man's Kathakali. Padayani, Kerala. Gaur, Madhya Pradesh, Bison. Okay, just remember Bison, Bastar district because it will be Uttam Tullal, Super Adhika. Very good. So, Gaur, Madhya Pradesh. Okay, then Jumar. Already we have discussed in Punjab one, Bangra. Another one, Jumar, Punjab. Again, this is a folk dance in Punjab. Gummi, Terukutu, 
மயிலாட்டம் திஸ் ஆல் பிலாங்ஸ் டு தமிழ்நாடு கும்மி தெருக்கூத்து மயிலாட்டம் யக்ஷகானா கர்நாடகா வாஸ் யுவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர்ஸ் பிரிலம் கொஸ்டின் யக்ஷகானா கர்நாடகா தே ஸ்டார்ட் ஃப்ரம் த ஃபுட் வர் பவாய் குஜராத் கார் குஜராத் இஸ் இன் இட் ஜி டு ஜி அகேன் பிஜி பவாய் குஜராத் தாண்டியா ராஸ் அகேன் குஜராத் தாண்டியா ஆட்டம் பவாய் கார் திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் அண்ட் ஃபோக் டான்சஸ் ஃப்ரம் குஜராத் தமாஷா மகாராஷ்டிரா ஃபன் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் ஓகே தமாஷா மகாராஷ்டிரா குடியாட்டம் கேரளா prior to this we have seen one more from kerala padayani padayani kudiyattam ottam tullal very very important vattal tullam ottam tullal why because it is also called as a poor man's kathakali is all no ma is all no poor man's kathakali kavadi attam already we have discussed three more what is this mailattam terukuthu gummi kavadi attam this is all an examples from tamil nadu folk dance okay hikat jammu and kashmir giddha punjab giddha punjab ras dance manipur punchcholam again manipur jatra west bengal ball west bengal charkula this is what we had an imagination of feel face is closed and multi tiered okay it is like multi story building it is like a multi tiered circular wooden pyramids already it will be heavy height and oil lamps how many lamps 108 oil lamps really it's unimaginable charkula uttar pradesh so this is your dear ma'am i have completely i have successfully completed the classical dances all the eight classical dances bharatanatyam kathakali kathak kuchipudi manipuri mohiniyattam odissi shatriya apart from that i have also completed folk dances which is one of the most favorite topic of upsc to pick the questions okay did you enjoy the session ma did you enjoy the session hope the session went well yes i have completed don't forget to use my code tonight of course we in special class we have a topic on constitution okay do come and attend a special class and now it's time for you to join let us take the test small test it is a small quiz with respect to the dance forms of india is this fine is this fine for everyone please log in i have already shared the code i have already shared the code once again i will share the code now please use the code 46 09460978 session is very super ma'am enjoy thank you saranya please go and check the first session also ma'am part 1 also four classical dances that also will be very good okay now please join the test 46 it is not a test just get exposed to the questions very very important 4609 Seven eight. Using this code from An Academy Learning App. Please open your An Academy Learning App. Okay, let me check how many of you have joined. Use the code four six zero nine seven eight. Nobody has joined. What about others, ma? Please join the quiz. Oh, that's nice, ma. Ma, join quiz. Join quiz. Yes, ma. Yes, sir. And I am seeing you for a long time. One has joined. Radhika has joined. What about others?
ओके प्लीज फ्रॉम अन अकेडमी लर्निंग एप टेक योर मोबाइल गो टू दन अकेडमी लर्निंग एप दे बॉटम यू विल फाइंड ब्राउज सिलेबस टेस्ट ओके क्लिक टेस्ट देन यू हैव लाइव क्वेस्ट टच दैट it will showing it will be showing a column past quiz join quiz you have to touch join quiz because already i have uh, housed the quiz it will ask you to enter a code enter a quiz code to join the quiz code is 460978 okay file is joined that's nice so let me screen cast now let me screen cast now that's good here's now I have begun the quiz. is that okay just a moment
Hi friends. Yes. Hope you have completed the quiz, live quiz with respect to classical dances. Yes, ma. So please do stay connected. Tonight we have an important topic in polity, 8 to 9 and again 9.30 to 10.35. And tomorrow is an amazing fully quiz day, live quiz on medieval India. Don't miss this. Block your calendar. Come and get exposed to the question. From there, you can modify your preparation. The ultimate objective of conducting the quiz is that you are getting, you are training you to get ready to crack prelims with ease. Please, please try to understand the importance of that and don't ever miss the special classes. Special classes, are, of course, really they are rocking. So, do stay connect uh, 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, YouTube class. I'll catch you all in YouTube platform and 8 to 10 p.m. on special class. Okay. So, reserve your time and reserve your calendars. Don't forget to use the code DL10. Use the code and go for the enrollment. Take the subscription at the earliest. Until then, it's bye from your DL ma'am. Good luck. Good day. Bye-bye. Stay connected. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, ma'am.